congratulations on launching your BigCommerce store. It's a big deal, so don't forget to celebrate at least a little bit. However, let's keep right on rolling and show you how to manage the back end of your business. This video will include topics like orders, communicating to customers, shipping your products, and much more. So let's dive in. First thing to know is that you're already set up to receive email alerts when an order is placed. The email address you provided when you created your store will be where you will see those order alerts coming in. If you want to change your email address for some reason, just go to Settings and select Order Notifications. Check that Email Message is selected. Then you'll see a tab entitled Email Message. Feel free to change it to whatever address you'd like and save. OK, great. Now let's get familiar with that Orders page since you'll likely find yourself here quite a bit managing the back end of your business. To get to your orders, click Orders and then View. The first thing you'll notice is that there are tabs across the top. This is a quick and easy way to find orders you're looking for. You'll also have the ability to search your orders with the Filter by Keyword field. It may also be helpful to sort your orders by the status. This will all help you stay organized, and as you can see, we have three ways to sort and find orders. We love providing options here at BigCommerce as everyone functions differently. Now, while we're talking about order status, note that as you change the order status with this drop-down menu, BigCommerce automatically generates an email to your customer. This email alerts the customer that their order status has changed. If you want to adjust the email communication, feel free to go to your settings menu and click checkout under the advanced settings. You'll be able to pick and choose which order status updates you'd like to email your clients about and which you'd prefer to maybe shut off. In short, strive to stick to what's most relevant for your specific business. Okay, back to our view orders page. These icons here tell you how an order was placed. If you hover over these icons, you'll see things like storefront, eBay, mobile device, or even manual order. Now a manual order means that you created the order within your control panel. Also, once you set up your Facebook social shop, you'll even see orders made through Facebook. Also note the order ID number column. This will help you keep track of your orders and better communicate with your customers. Let's check out the awesome expand function. This handy tool will be your best friend as it will reveal all the necessary details about the specific order. You'll find all kinds of great details like shipping address, payment method, contact email, and most importantly, what's in the order. To the far right, you'll find actions for this particular order. You'll have all kinds of options like edit order, print invoice, print packing slip, just to name a few. A packing slip will not only list the items in your order, but it will also list the bin in which you've stored your products in. Bin picking numbers make it much easier for you to organize your stored inventory so an item can be grabbed, packed, and shipped fast. Now from here, if you're shipping your products yourself, make sure to have plenty of boxes on hand to fulfill your orders in a timely fashion. If you ask your local US Postal, FedEx, or UPS carrier for boxes, they will often deliver them right to your door. Naturally, you'll want to secure and pack your products appropriately with plenty of protection. Then you can print and insert your packing slip. This will allow for your customers to have documentation of their order and also makes you look a little more professional. From there, don't be afraid to add some branding, personalization, marketing, or cleverness onto your packaging. Including these assets can go a really long way in crafting a relationship with a customer, or even encouraging them to do things like share their purchase on social media, which hopefully will help you generate more sales. After you're through packaging your item, you'll want to generate a shipping label for the outside of your package. Go ahead and select Ship Items. This will pop up a Create Shipment window where you can enter more details on how you want to ship the order. First, decide how you'd like to ship. This drop-down menu will list all the options Indesha offers for label printing. When you select different USPS delivery options, your price will adjust. Whatever delivery method you choose, once you click Create Shipment, Proceed to Print, you will have created the label for that order. So, be sure that you have all the options you'd like before proceeding. Unless, of course, you decide to use FedEx or UPS at the bottom of the drop-down menu. BigCommerce does not inherently provide label printing for these services although many different apps in our marketplace will do this for you. We'll choose a delivery method that makes the most sense for this order, so Indesha can prepare an accurate label for this package. Another Indesha feature is the ability to purchase signature confirmation. 
This means your package will not be delivered unless it's signed for by a recipient at that intended address. This will cost a little extra, but it will ensure your delivery to the customer. You also have a few packaging options that you can edit prior to purchasing and printing your label. You can edit items like quantity of the items in the order, package weight, and the dimensions of the package. Last, you can add notes to your order, which will be included in your order packaging slip. It's a great opportunity to add details or include some personalization before printing and including the packaging slip into your shipment. We've chosen a USPS by Indicia option from the drop-down menu, so this package's tracking number will be generated for us when we print our label in the next few steps. However, if you've selected a different provider for shipping, you'll need to enter the tracking ID manually into this field, if you're providing one. It's certainly not mandatory, but it's a really nice touch to allow your customers to track their shipment. But with Indicia, you don't even have to think about it. It'll be generated and sent to your customer automatically. If you'd like, you can provide a shipping method description for your customers, but the default is usually appropriate. From here, go ahead and create shipment and proceed to print. If you'd like to add another provider like UPS or FedEx, our App Store is located here in your control panel, and it offers a lot of solutions for managing your postage and label needs. However, since we've chosen Indesia, we'll go ahead and print our shipping label right now. Once we get to this page, we cannot edit any details attached to this label. If we need to make adjustments to anything, we would have to create a new order or go into our Indesha dashboard and print a new label. At this point, I still have not been charged by Indesha. Until we click print, we will not be charged. Also, if you happen to need a new packaging slip, we can do that right here. Let's keep rolling with this example by simply printing a packaging label. I'm going to choose the 4x6 label, which is designed for a thermal printer. If you're just printing onto regular copy paper and then taping it to your package, you should choose the 8x5 option. Now, we're presented with a separate window where we can print. In time, you may want to consider purchasing what is known as a thermal printer. This type of printer creates labels right onto a sticker, no tape necessary. Now, for those of you not using USPS powered by Indicia, we'll head back to the View Order section of your control panel. You'll want to copy your customer's shipping address. We've provided this nifty copy button to easily copy the shipping address and paste it into your label printing software. Now, if you're looking for more shipping functionality, don't forget to check out those shipping apps like Shipping Easy, Order Cup, or ShipStation. You'll just want to install the app of your choice and head back to your View Orders page. Click the Ship Items button, but this time you'll manually enter the tracking number from your label that you printed in the app. Now, no matter what method of shipment you've chosen for your order, once you hit Create Shipment, the order status will change to Shipped. This will generate that email notification we discussed earlier and update your customers on their order status. If you've added a tracking number to the shipment, it will be included in the email, allowing for your customers to track their package. Pretty slick, right? Order fulfillment is pretty darn important when running a business, and as we well know here at Big Commerce, every business has different needs. Although we used Indicia for this example, there are many other options for you to choose from. It's entirely up to you.